What's up YouTube, this is Dr. Shim and welcome back to another iPhone 4S review and today we got the iPhone 4S from AT&T. Now this is the 16 gigabyte white iPhone 4S from AT&T. You can purchase this with a two year contract for $199. So let's talk about the hardware on this device that makes this device so special and so much different than the iPhone 4. Uh, first of all, we all know that the custom as far as the design is concerned is pretty much the same. There's not much of a difference in design of the device. But let's talk about the hardware. The difference in this phone is it has a dual core A5 chip. Uh, the same same as the iPad 2 so that makes it pretty nice as far as speed is concerned. The next thing is the camera. It has an 8 megapixel camera that shoots 1080p HD 30 frames per second which gives you some really quality high quality pictures and that's a new addition to this device also. It has the iOS 5 uh, system on here which makes it different. That's the newest uh, iOS from Apple and we have Siri on here too which we'll get into another video on that and I'll kind of uh, tell you what that's about that's another nice addition to the, uh, the iPhone 4S it's just, like I said it's a 16 gigabyte it has basically uh, 200 new uh, features on this device which makes this the ultimate iPhone 4S iCloud is the newest uh, storage space as far as uh, syncing your items with the uh, multi devices such as uh, audio pictures, apps, and stuff like that. You can sync it with multi-devices just using cloud. That, so that's pretty nice. And that's a new addition also. This is the 4S and this has a 3.5 uh, display on it so it makes it easier to watch videos and pictures and stuff like that. And uh, you know about the external antennas already. So they basically are on the side here which I know they had a problem with this before but uh, I'm pretty sure uh, they made some kind of changes to that and probably uh, fixed it a little better. I know when you make your calls uh, your calls will drop because the antennas are right here so that's something uh, they I guess they were trying to trying to revise which it looks pretty much the same but I haven't really heard a lot of problems of people calls dropping and stuff like that and let me just go over what's what the phone uh, as far as the other stuff is concerned it has a 30 pin dock on the bottom here that makes it easy for uh, for charging with along with your speakers and then on the side here you got your volume just like the iPhone 4 lock unlock here and you just got your headphone at the top here along with your power button and on the other side here you have your uh, SIM slot also. In the front here you got your home button, camera, on the back you got your, front, your rear facing camera along with your flash you got the Apple logo and Apple on the back so it's basically the same as the iPhone 4. Okay so what we have here is 512 of memory and we have a 3.5 retina display so it makes everything pretty much uh, pretty clear for you and what we're going to do here is we're going to power it up real quick and I'm just going to give you like a walkthrough if you own an uh, iPhone 4 or iPhone 4S you pretty much know how to navigate but for the ones that don't know how to navigate I'm just going to give you a little, uh, little navigation uh, tour here real quick now this, uh, this is one of my favorite phones I mean as far as the iPhones concerned, we they did have the like the the 3G and stuff like that, and I didn't really like that. And the reason for that is because it looked too much like the uh, the iPod Touch, and I thought this is a very unique style as far as uh, phones is concerned with the iPhone 4. All right, so let's just go over the uh, some of the things that's on here that's new. One of the things that's on here is basically the the logo for the music. Now you got a different little logo here as far as music is concerned, so you can navigate to your music and stuff like that you got the newsstand now that's also different and we got here also reminders that's something else that's another different uh, little feature on here everything else is pretty much the same uh, you got you know you got YouTube and calendar maps and you have the weather right here so you can navigate through the weather and uh, keep track of that if you're traveling and stuff like that and we got YouTube Let's check out the videos and see what's on here. Let's just click on that one and see what that's like. The videos are really clear. Hey there YouTube, what's up? It is Matt Carl. We'll be in the Z3. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own dock for your iPhone or iPod. The quality of the sound is just excellent. Second generation member. Going to make a dock for it. There's no kind of problem as far as getting this like full screen. adapter that comes with the actual device itself. You got a full screen here. 32 pin USB connector. Uh, very very file, nice or some sandpaper will also do uh, a block of wood that's going to be the big 
All right, so we got that. So you know that's pretty good. And, you know, I'm a YouTube fan, and uh, this is very important to me as far as any kind of device uh, displaying YouTube. We got the usual app store where you can just check out and see what's new. So you can kind of you can kind of navigate that. Let's click on that again. That's actually the new stand there. Anyway, let's go to the uh let's check out and see what the settings tab is like. Now the settings tab is basically where everything is at. All your controls are here as far as uh setting up your Wi-Fi notifications, locations. You got sounds, you got the brightness. So you can control the brightness from here. I keep it kind of dim when I'm doing the videos because it kind of helps you guys uh, see what I'm doing. You got the wallpaper. You got the general settings also, which gives you a little information about the device. And you can keep track of all of that, which is good to know what you're running on your device. The usage, it shows you the usage. Standby. Saying no data there. Let's go back here real quick. And then you got iCloud, which like I said, this is your online storage, so this you can upload all your stuff there and sync everything with with uh iCloud and that allows you to sync multi uh devices and, and you can sync everything to all your de devices you have from Apple. And you got your mail and contacts, calendar, new edition tweeter, you got Twitter there right there, and that's pretty good because I'm a Twitter user. So that's a nice addition. And you got phone, FaceTime. Now FaceTime should be pretty good because of the uh, increase in the, the Ducorp A5 chip. That should make you have uh, some pretty nice FaceTime experiences. Uh, should have not much of a lag on that, I would think. And you got your browser, which you can change from Google, Yahoo, or Bing. You got messages, music, videos, photos. You can control your your stream, shuffle. So you can get uh, pretty much any kind of display that you want. And that's basically what you got. I mean, everything else seems pretty much the same. All right, let's take a look at the camera real quick and see what the camera is like. Let me just lift this up here real quick. So you guys can see this. Camera's pretty nice. You can switch from camera to video. I'm on a camera right now, so I could take a shot of that. The picture's really clear. As you can see right there. You can edit it. You have crop here, so you can actually crop the picture. Pick out the size that you want to crop and just crop it. Let's see what we got here. And you can move it up wherever you want, whichever area you want to crop, and just hit the crop and you're done. You can rotate it. You can auto enhance it. So that's pretty nice. Uh, same thing with the video. The video is pretty good. Let's let's go to the video real quick. We're on the video right here. And let's just record this real quick. You got some excellent quality as far as the video is concerned. Let's just turn this off. Go back to the video. You can see it right there. It's a really nice quality, and if you don't want it, you can just delete it. You can delete that too. And there you go. So this is the iPhone 4S, the 16 uh, gigabyte from AT&T for $199 with a two-year contract. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this overview. Post your comments along with the video, and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.